What's happening everybody? Welcome back to KC Bass guys. We're back here on the lake. It is a beautiful day. We have 82 degrees. We have quite a bit of wind so the water's pretty choppy. So I'm thinking crankbait. I'm thinking fluke. God. <laughs> so we're thinking crankbait. So tonight on the chopping block we have this. It is the Bomber Model A. Definitely one of the more popular crankbaits out there. Probably one of the more famous crankbaits out there for sure. So on the back is a description of this. It's the Bomber Model A crankbaits. It features ultra sharp Excalibur TX3 hooks. Ooh, that's why yeah. it's Model A, not Model B. Apparently, yeah. Apparently that's why it's an A, an a lister. <laughs> uh, fish catching color patterns. Now this one here is actually kind of a shad color. As soon as I can get a hold of it here. It's kind of a shad color, but I don't know if you guys can see this with the lighting or not, but it's sort of translucent in a way. And I really thought that was kind of cool. So it's the Bomber 6A. Um, let's see, what else does it say? A model or a bomber built to run true and deliver tremendous durability. We'll see about that. Um, I haven't seen those it's shit. the number one choice among today's competitive anglers. All right, so we're going to take these bad boys out on the lake. We're going to fish with them. At the end of it, we're going to give it a scorecard, and we'll let you know how the bomber stacks up in comparison to other crankbaits out there. Bomber Model A, this specifically is the 6A, and I guess that's supposed to mean that it goes about six feet deep. So six to eight feet is what it says on the package. I don't know. There he is. That's a little guy, but <laughs> he's a little, but he's a fish. He's a largemouth <laughs> on the bomber, mo uh, the bomber Model A. All right, let's go. So far, I'm a little underwhelmed. We've managed to get one in the boat. It was a little guy. Um, there's there's really something weird about the way this thing runs, you know? Like, uh, it's, it, it almost wants to spiral. I don't know if maybe that's the speed at which we're on your retrieve or what, but uh, there, there's really something weird about it in the way that it, you know, it's, it'll start to spiral, and then once it does that, it just shoots up. It just pops up out of the water, and you have to start all over. So, it, you know, I don't know if maybe, maybe I'm... We're real slow though, we're fast. doing everything, I think, but uh, yeah, underwhelmed is the right word for this, Yeah, so, so far. So far underwhelmed, uh, we're gonna try some other spots though and see if we can't get onto some fish, but uh, right now it's just one in the boat, so. So we got yeah. that going for us. So we got that going for us, yeah, which is nice, which is nice. That's a fish, that is a fish. It's another little fish. But it's not it's a daggone fish. Here's our here's our little guy. He's barely got a heartbeat line and he's as big as my hand, so six inches. There we have it guys. Fish number two on the bomber model A. It didn't say it'd catch big fish, did it? It just said it'd catch fish. Alright. Oh there's a good there we go. A little bigger. Alright, fish number three. There's still dinks tonight, but it's catching fish, what can I say? All right, back in the water. That's a fish, there we go. That one feels all right. Not, still not much of a fighter, but well, maybe, I could be wrong. Oh, hang on, <laughs> something's happening. No, that's, that is a fish, I have no idea. Wait. No, I'm snagged. <laughs> Back up. Oh, I'm on this crappie bed here. Crap. I can't see it. There you go. What the heck I have no idea what's going on. No, it, there's a fish. What is this thing? 
What is this fish? I got a catfish in there. Golly. I don't know. I have no idea. You, you certainly can. <laughs> I have no idea what this is, dude. You got a turtle. That's a heck of a. That's got to be a giant turtle, dude. Turtle. Do they just like stay at the bottom? Oh, yeah, yeah. That could be a big one. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. No, 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 I think you got fish. There's a swirl. I think. My God. Do this. <laughs> Wait, 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 that is a turtle, I think. Is it a turtle? No, 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 a catfish, big catfish. Oh. Yeah. I think it's a flathead. <laughs> oh, my God. Nice, nice catfish. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude. There it is. That thing is a hoss. Yeah, I, oh, wait a minute, I think I'm on the dorsal thing. Yeah, that's Probably. A, that's a flathead. Nice one. Jeez, dude. Very nice. Wow. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that makes sense. All right, now. that explains it. <laughs> Good God Almighty. There. A giant flathead catfish on a foul hooked, at least, but hey, still a fish. Wow, let's get a weight, dude. How in the world did you cook that? Apparently, I just must have just skimmed over him or something because I got him in his back. Six pounds, 10 ounces. Six pounds, nine ounces. Dude, look at the mouth on that thing. That is insane. I don't normally freak out over catfish like this, but it's also the first flathead I've caught out of here, too. Have fun, man. Golly. Here, I'll tell you what. Before it gets too dark... Whoop. Stand by. Yeah. <laughs> well, we said five fish, and we'll make a video out of it, I guess. All right, respectable. That's a. Are we doubled up? Dude, heck yeah. Are you on the same lure? Yep. Can you get him in? Of course you can. Solid, yeah, dude. Him, Solid. Very nice. There we go. Doubled up, finally. Yeah, now we're getting somewhere. Yeah. I think the key is to uh, the slower uh, reel. Yeah, blend, uh, I, I would agree. Yeah. Very nice. Let's see who who did whose is bigger. Let's see. I'll put mine closer to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> nice job, Good deal. bomber. I'm sorry, I doubted you. All right, folks, that's going to do it for us with the bomber Model A. Um, slow start. <laughs> slow start. But definitely, <laughs> definitely some action picking up there at the end. I that I was. I was not expecting a seven pound catfish or nearly seven pound catfish. Yes, to the defense of the catfish, really, I, I, I didn't catch it by, I foul hooked it. But hey, it's still a fish in the boat. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and give this thing a scorecard. This is our scorecard. And the way the KC Bass Guys scoring system works is we, uh, for each product that we test and review, we grade it on five different categories. Each category is scaled on a measure of one to 10, uh, one being not at all what we expected from it. Uh, 10 is excellent, and of course somewhere in between there is your, your opinion of average. So we lead off with price. So the price on the Bomber Model A is, uh, I actually picked these up at Academy Sports uh, this morning as a matter of fact, and picked them up for $4.99 each. I'm going to give that a 6 because that's about average for a for a respectable crankbait, so I'm going to give that a 6 out of 10. Uh, where do you land on price? Yeah, I got to go with 6 on that as well. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's not great, but it's not horrible either. Um, maybe a little overly priced for that type of lure, but yeah, not, not too bad. Okay. Uh, category 2 is function. Uh, did it perform the way that it was supposed to perform? You know, we talked about this a little bit through the video and, and the run pattern of this particular crankbait is actually kind of finicky. It seems like if you retrieve it too fast, it wants to spiral upward out of the water on you. Um, for that, I mean, but it's still uh, it's running properly through the water. It still looks like a shad, you know. It looks the way it's supposed to when it's running properly. So I don't know if that's maybe just a retrieve speed or what. So I'm actually gonna go with uh, seven out of 10 because we had more spiral out of control issues than than I anticipated so I'm gonna go with seven out of ten 
couple knocks above average there um, for its function. How about you? Uh, I'm going with another six on that one. Um, okay. Yeah, once we kind of figured it out, it started doing its its thing, serving its purpose. But even when I went slow, it still seemed to kind of have a lot of hookups as well. So, uh, like again, like the other one, not great, but not terrible either. So I'm going with another six on that one. Um, that actually kind of leads us into the next category, which is usability. How easy is the product to use? Generally speaking, with a crankbait, it doesn't get much easier than that. You throw it out, reel it in, and you catch fish, right? Well, in an ideal scenario, obviously it works that way, Ideally. but um, it's kind of, like I said, again, it's kind of finicky when it comes to retrieve speed, it seems like. And, and some of you guys in the, in the comment section, if you know more about this lure, let us know, but um, it, it seems very finicky as far as its retrieve speed. So as far as usability, normally this is just a straight 10 for me, but I'm actually still gonna go with seven out of 10 on usability. It's not the most user-friendly crankbait I've ever used. Sorry, Bomber, but um, I'm going to go with 7 out of 10 on usability. What about you? Yeah, I'm following up with the 7 on that one as well. I used another Bomber, a different, uh, I don't even know what kind of Bomber it is, but that one's <laughs> honestly much easier to use than this one here. But uh, like we said, when, once we kind of got the hang of it, it wasn't all that all that bad. But um, yeah, like Brand said, again, that's usually a, <laughs> that's usually a 10 out of 10 of all our lures that we use. But this mm -hmm. one here is just not uh, not up to speed with that. So yeah. I'll go with the 7 on that too. Okay. Durability. So the bomber uh, the bomber actually touts this lure as durable. Um, I'm actually going to agree with that. I I'm going to say a strong, uh, did the product hold up during the test? Well, mm -hmm. Yeah, it absolutely did. As you guys can see, we, we've caught quite a few fish with it tonight. Um, banged it up against rocks. We've, you know, we kind of put the thing through the ringer tonight and foul hooked a, you know, giant catfish with it. And, it, you know, <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's uh, durability. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say, Bomber, you're spot on with that. It is a definitely a durable lure for sure. So I'm going to go 10 out of 10 on durability. Yep, 10 out of 10 for sure. Absolutely. Yeah, we, <laughs> uh, our casting isn't on point just yet. So we're, we're not going to docks. We're not going to see walls, rocks, this, that, and the other. So uh, all the stuff that we banged it into tonight, uh, it helped help just perfectly. So yeah, definitely 10 out of 10 on that one. Uh, no scratches, honestly. So that that is perfect. The fifth and final category is effectiveness. Did it produce the expected results? Um, it was actually a slow start, um, but as the sun goes down on us here, um, yeah, the fish seem to have turned on and they really responded to the lure. So, um, you know, excluding the foul hooked catfish, which is still definitely going in the video because it was just cool, <laughs> but uh, excluding the foul hooked catfish, yeah, we, we caught bass with it. It is uh, marketed as a bass lure. Uh, so I'm going to give it a, a 10 out of 10, albeit it wasn't without... Uh, uh, it wasn't without headaches for sure, but uh, in trying to figure out how it runs. But um, effectiveness, did it produce the expected results? 10 out of 10. Well, you had a little more <laughs> results than I did on this okay. here, better results. So um, I still got nice bass on there. So for me, I'm going to go a 7 out of 10 on that one. Maybe I just didn't have enough time to use it to its full potential. I don't know, but uh, just personal results here. It's. It, <laughs> better than average but i'm going with a solid seven out of ten um, what we do to uh, make it an accurate representation of both of our opinions we add our total scores together there are 50 possible points from each uh, from each of us and then of course we take the average of that to give it the official uh, kc bass guy score right so i came up with a total of uh, 40 points where'd you come up with 36 76 total points uh, that gives us a 38 out of 50 on the bomber model a so it's a C. It's better than what I got in school, so yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> I don't even expect Bomber to actually Not watch yet. this video, but um, I, I think there's something either in the way that the bill is shaped or just the retrieve speed of it alone that makes it so finicky, and that that to me was what really kind of drove down the drove down the score on it. Yeah. But all in all, I mean, we caught fish. It was a successful lure for sure. Click the like button for us. The geese like the video, so click the like button for us. Uh, let us know that you were here. Also, click the subscribe button over there and uh, leave a comment down below to let us know how we screwed up on the Bomber Model A and what we could have what we could have done better. So, guys, that's going to do it for us. We're the KC Bass Guys. I'm Brandon. Todd. Y'all have a good one. Took him a little while to wake up, that's all it is.